Στο στο Μεσουβάρας, I'm Head of Network Infrastructure Projects in GRNET. I'm also representing GRNET at the Zian General Assembly as a staff subsidiary member. GRNET is the research and education network of Greece. Provides networking, cloud and HPC services to the academic community of Greece. Moreover, since 2019, and under the, uh, the guidance of the Ministry of Digital Governance, uh, it expanded its scope. All citizens with a valid uh, tax identification number are potential customers of our services. This is around 8 million Greek citizens. So technology is advancing so quickly on quantum computing and bad actors can take advantage of computational power and speed to get around current encryption technologies. Therefore, there is a race against time to protect critical systems before bad actors is able to develop capabilities basically to disrupt the flow of data, to alter the search and impact the outcomes. I can assure you that uh, security is uh, a high priority for the research and education community. The reason for this is that this community has been transforming from traditional network providers to providers of digital services with a much wider audience. The case of GRNet is quite evident. So a potential service dysfunction may not only affect the academic community, but also may affect the everyday life of a citizen. In GRNet, we take security very seriously, so we have an internal team of experts that are doing regular security assessments in our service and infrastructure. Moreover, in order to explore the quantum uh, security paradigm, uh, we decided to participate in the UNPCI program under the guidance of the Ministry of Digital Governance. We coordinate the implementation of the uh, national segment of UNPCI. We call it Hellas QCI and GRNet is the coordinator of Hellas QCI that is going to be a national experimental network that will include test sites in three different cities, major cities, Athens, Thessaloniki and Heraklio. Also, three optical ground stations are going to be uh, involved in this uh, testbed that will be used for moving the quantum channel across the cities but uh, towards the rest of uh, Euro QCI countries. So, when Hellas QCI moves to its production phase, it will be able to provide quantum secure communication uh, to critical infrastructures, uh, to key uh, governmental agencies, and uh, so on. So, within this framework, uh, GRNet, as the coordinator of Hellas QCI community and our partner with the University of Athens, are, gonna, are organizing a POC along with Nokia, Evolution Q in Agile Quantic, in order to demonstrate uh, potential interoperability issues for the uh, QKED Trusted Code Architecture. Looking to the market and to networks, we think that every enterprise will be impacted by the quantum cybersecurity threat. But particularly, we see governments, trends, data center connectivity, healthcare as the key domains to be applied for the quantum security. Nokia, and specifically in the optical portfolio, we have already solutions that are available to protect the transport network against quantum attacks. Specifically, we have layer one connectivity enablers that are able to encrypt the traffic on the data plane using 256-bit keys. And then, moreover, we have a centralized key management and orchestrator that is able to generate quantum-resistant private keys that are distributed symmetrically to the encryptors using layer one technology. This is providing the lowest latency and the lowest cost per bit. In GRNode, we are using a series of tools for uh, addressing cyber attacks. Uh, some of them are open source, some of them are uh, commercial. Uh, according to my view, the research community is very well positioned about it, uh, for the quantum security paradigm. This is evident by the wide participation of the research education networks in the EuroQCI program, as well as by the fact that uh, quantum technologies are very deeply studied uh, via the GM5 program.